Hello guys, welcome back to an app. For today's video, we are going to show you how to design product labels in Canva. So if you're interested, let's start the tutorial. Now, in this case, designing your product labels in Canva, or generally speaking here, having or designing your labels is something really important. Now, this could actually make or break your product because that's the first thing that people would actually see when you present them, present them your product. So it's really important to design them properly. And the great thing about it is you can actually use Canva for designing it. But the thing with this one is you need to consider a few things and you need to take or uh, remember a few things here. So first things first is you want to make sure that you know the actual size that you want uh, you to have your labels on. Now, depending on your product, like for example, if you have a uh, bottle, uh, you may want to uh, basically measure your bottle and how big your product is going to be. So in this case, let's go ahead and maybe I want to say I want to create a label that is around like three by uh, let's say three by four. So in this case, that size is going to be uh, in a, like in a portrait size. So let's go and create design a top left here. And let's go ahead and maybe choose one custom size. Now the width is going to be around like 4.5 because we want to add a, like a so 4.3 here. Now for the height is going to be, uh, let's go and ch change this to inches by the way. Let's go 4.5 and this one is going to be, oh, sorry. So you change this height, it's going to 4.5 and this one is going to be like 3.5. So let's just add like a 0.5 uh, half inch on uh, each of them and let's go and click on create new design. Now we, ha we should have a portrait here. Now the thing with this one is we need to make sure that we add the appropriate margin and it bleeds in it. So at the top left, you want to go to fall and you want to go ahead, enable a few things. Let's go ahead and uh, enter or uh, add the show margins option. Same thing, you want to go ahead and add the show print bleed section here. Now, you might be wondering, uh, why do we need to have this? Well, the thing with this one is it's actually really useful so that whenever you print something uh, into your uh, in your product here, so in this case, uh, you won't have to worry about some information or some design might be missing on your actual um uh, design here. So in this case, the bleed part here, it is where uh, the outer section here, this is where the uh, product or the actual design will not appear whenever you actually print on it. So this is where you cut. So in this section, the line you see here, this is where you cut whenever you print your design here. Now you have your margin as well. So the margin is going to be like, it's just like a safe area. So just to make sure that all of your content or the content of your design here is well contained. So just basically in the very center here, so you have the center, this is where the important design or information should be located. So this is just like, think of the margin here or margin part here, just the extension of your actual design. So yeah, let's go and start designing here. So for example, I want to create a label for a chocolate chip cookie. So yeah. So since in this case, depending on your product here, you know, we all know that each company, each product has their own uh, colors. So maybe I want to add an element here and let's go and add a shape. So yeah, let's go and resize this quickly here. And once we've done that, let's go ahead and change the color for it. So since I'm designing a chocolate chip cookie, so maybe I want to make this like a uh, brown. So something around a uh, brown here. Let's go and choose a color. A bit brown here. Let's go and choose a little darker. This one. And uh, yeah, so this one is, I think this one is great. So let's go ahead and add our actual design. So for this one, let's go ahead and add our cookie. Let's go ahead and add a cookie here. Let's go ahead and press enter. Now again, depending on what you need for your product, uh, the design might change a bit. So in my case, uh, I just want to add, uh, want to create a cookie. So this one, let's go ahead and uh, position it. Now, in this case, what I want to do here is want to crop this. And I want to inc only include the bottom part here. And uh, maybe I want to make it a bit transparent. And let's go ahead and start adding our logo. Now, obviously you could upload your own logo here, but for just testing purposes, I'm going to add a uh, very simple one here to uh, make it a, it a lot easier for us. 
So let's go and choose one that we could actually use. Or maybe this one. Let's go and add the top left here. Resize this. And also just make sure you're within or deciding within your uh, mar uh, actual center here. So not in the margin section. And let's go ahead and add a text here. So add a heading. And let's just say there's going to be uh, cookies. And let's go ahead and position it in a way that it actually fits. Sign here. Let's go ahead and change the color for it. Make it like a uh, dark brown. Change the font uh, font style for it. Maybe uh, I want to say this one or this one maybe or this one. Let's go ahead and choose one that actually matches our design a bit. Let's go ahead and choose this one. And let's go align this at the left side here. Yep. And let's go move it. And you can just add any information that you want here. Like for example, uh, all made with natural ingredients. By the way, you can change the font color for this one to make it a lot easier in the eyes. Or maybe it'll make it a lot um, like this one. And let's go ahead and copy this one. And let's say uh, paste the and delicious and you could add anything that you want to add here and from here let's just add a lot a last one at the very bottom say uh, say this is going to be ready for here now you could add whatever information that you want here like for example if you want to add like a uh which what year was made so uh, which logo here like let's say, uh, company for example at 2025 here but obviously you can just add whatever you want let's go and choose one that is uh, quite easy to read here so let's go let's, let's go and choose Roboto here this one uh, I like I really like this uh, font here let's go ahead, uh, size it at the very bottom right here and uh, yeah so in this case, you can just add whatever design here. So uh, you could actually add whatever further designs. Like for example, maybe I want to add like something that looks like um, candies or chocolate. Chocolate here. Maybe add it in the background. Graphics. Let's go and choose one that we could actually use. So it's, this might take a while. So there are going to be a lot of choices here. And so there are going to be a lot of choices here. Maybe I want to use this one. And uh, by the way, uh, the great thing about this one is you can actually make it or fit it in a way. So make it fit in here. Make it make sure it's inside the design itself, as you see right now. And let's go and choose, uh, select it. Let's go and make the transparency a bit on this one, so that it just has that rough or rough texture on our design here. And let's go and add one final design here, and maybe add a uh, really a big cookie again cookie now let's go ahead and add one here so maybe a heart at the top right uh, section here it's gonna resize this okay uh, make sure to add it in here and let's go ahead and make sure it's within the border here let's go ahead and make it trans a bit transparent here so it actually blends in the background and once you've done that Let's go ahead and just click on share itself right here. You go and just download this one. And just remember, uh, this uh, other layer this is where you cut your design. So make sure it's within the margin itself. But from then on, you should be good. And that's about it. So hopefully this video was able to help you like and subscribe to your lineup. Thank you for watching.